Hi folks! <laughs> a couple of weeks ago I posted a video here on YouTube detailing an outrage being committed in Taiji, Japan by the goily men, cowards of Sea Shepherd. I discussed how they were harassing the citizens and desecrating religious monuments nearby. Well, these Sea Shepherd types, these girly men, are not contented with that. They've taken it a step further as they keep escalating the harassment because each step that they go and escalate, nothing happens to them. There's no consequences. In Taiji, Japan, there was filmed clandestinely that movie called The Cove, trying to outline the dolphin hunts taking place in the city of Taiji, the area called The Cove. Well, the director of this clandestine movie decided to mail copies of it, DVDs, to the residents of Taiji. And I'm being told it's anywhere from 1,400 to 3,500 DVDs that were mailed by a group called People Concerned for the Oceans. They seem to only be concerned about the ocean around Taiji and nowhere else. But here's the interesting part of what these cowards did. When they mailed these DVDs to the people, first of all, they didn't mail any popcorn wood. What good is that? But the intent was that when the people view these DVDs, they will be disgusted with their town and the way they're slaughtering all those dolphins. To which I would have to say, really? I saw good parts of the cove. Well, I saw parts of the cove because there's no good parts of it. And that's not what I thought when I saw it. What I thought was as well along the same lines that I'm sure many people in Taiji would think if they bothered to watch that piece of garbage. What I thought was, look at these foreign invaders abusing my town of Taiji, well their town of Taiji, how they're exploiting the culture. That's what I thought. And most likely that's what the people in Taiji, if they bothered to waste their time to watch those DVDs. But what's interesting about this is, when this group mailed it to the residents, they used a fictitious return address. Now in these here United States of America, it's against the law to use a fictitious return address. Now I'm not familiar with the postal laws in Japan, soon will be, so I don't know if it's against the law. But here's what I have to say. Taiji is under assault continually by these Westerners, these foreign groups who are trying to shut down an industry in that town. To the people of Japan, I have to say, hello, hello, wake up. Your days of being passive should end. You should not be permitting this harassment. Look, here we have, do I have this upside down? No. Here we have a map of Japan. Look, all of Nippon here, the land of the rising sun. 145 million people. It's easy for you to travel to Taiji by various methods and go into the town of Taiji. Let the residents know that they're not alone. Let them know that you support them and you find the behavior of these foreign invaders to be despicable. Now, if you cannot make it to Taiji, send a letter to the mayor. Make sure you use your correct return address or send an email. But those of you who venture into Taiji to see these girly men cowards, my suggestion is no violence. Do not confront them, and most of all, do not go near them. And here's why I say do not go near them. I viewed some videos of these cowards in Taiji, these Sea Shepherd people, and the first thing that came to my mind was, look at them. All I see are bed bugs infested on them, fleas, and yeast infections. And you want to go near that? The best thing to do, the best way to handle coward goily men infested with this is just to point <laughs> and laugh at them. That's all you do. No violence. No physical confrontation. Just point and laugh. Hi, right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. And the people of Japan, please, Support your town of Taiji from this harassment they're constantly having to suffer under. See ya.